Are you here for me? It's so hard. What is this? This is one of my stage suits from the late 80s. It's a fabulous hand painted leather suit with crazy studs and all kinds of crazy stuff on it. Those your albums down there? Yeah, that's one of our records. What, what tours did you wear that on? Do you remember? Um, this would be Bad Animals. Bad Animals tour. I also have a red pair of pants like that. They're all red with all the studs on them. Came with two, two sets of pants. Cool. Hello, Eric. What is this here, Paul? This is Duke Fame's original coat. 30 years old. And that's from the movie, this is Spinal, Spinal Tap. Yes, is right. Right here. We still got the boots and the trousers, but they only had room for the coat, so it's all good. So, what do we got here? this on, this is my heart video, where we uh, created a, a mountain to represent the MSG logo coming out of the top of Mount Fuji. So they have these arc welding arcs to create the lightning effect. So after shooting for six, seven or eight hours, and then getting on a tour bus to go to Fresno, we were on the Blues and Boogie tour with Ray White. <laughs> I actually ended up in the ER where I burned all the insides of my eyelids that were blistered. So I was hospitalized and uh, had to cancel the show I couldn't see. I was bandaged and uh, we only canceled one show. I had to wear glasses the next for about another two or three weeks. And um, that was the experience of uh, Mount Fuji <laughs> coming out of the MSG logo. So quite a bit of history on, on this one here. But, uh, uh, all good now. We can see good and proper now. So Andrew, what, uh, what is this in here? Uh, this is my uh, Ibanez Mutt guitar that uh, I had broken a headstock off of a long time ago and replaced it with this really disgustingly, I think it's mold or something on there, on the neck. Uh, I used it uh, in a lot of bands I was in. 30 Stones was one of them. I used it with Offspring uh, and our uh, Rise and Fall Rage and Grace tour for a couple things. And and uh, it's just the idea behind it was it, it used to be a gray guitar. We, I took all the paint off it, sanded it off. And uh, I just wanted everybody to kind of write what they were thinking on it, you know. Not like sign it, like not autograph it, but just like whatever the first thing that came to their mind I wanted them to write. So then we got this assortment of drawings and people telling me to go F myself and uh, love yous and somebody from New York signed a little New York City thing on there. And, Somebody said my big whatever is down at the bottom, and so we got a lot of cool stuff. I got a friend of mine who actually passed away, who signed her name on the back of it, gave me a little message and signed away. So I, I never got rid of it. So, you know, it's got a little, little bit of. I think all of my career on here, it's got Thirty Stones, it's got All Spring, and when I lived in HB, you know, Huntington Beach, and some stuff. Song for the record, line for the record. So, that's cool, man. And they put the beat up case in there too, which is rad. So, I wish I would have put cooler stickers on it, but anyway.